连选进入倒数一周，贺锦丽、川普全力冲刺，双方在摇摆州投入大量宣传费，预计将成为有史以来最贵的美国总统大选。Political ad spending at nearly 11 billion dollars. Yes, you heard me right. 由于双方民调陷入焦灼，根据路透社数据，贺锦丽支持度为百分之四十四，只领先川普一个百分点。富比士民调显示，贺锦丽以百分之五十一的支持度领先川普百分之四十七，摇摆七州成为关键。The polls and Harris wins Pennsylvania up here in blue. Gets 276 electoral votes, but Trump wins Pennsylvania. Then we get Donald Trump at 281 electoral votes. When just one state. Flipping one state could turn a loser into a winner. Donald Trump has spent a decade trying to keep the American people divided and afraid of each other. That is who he is. But year after year, globalist politicians like Kamala Harris sold you out and let other countries loot and pillage and plunder your wealth and. Our jobs and our American dreams. 贺锦丽打出稳定牌，川普强调美国梦，针锋相对，为的就是要争取中间选民的支持。双方投入大量经费，让总统大选的开支创历届新高。2012 and 2016, campaigns spent more than six billion dollars, and by 2020, that number rose to more than 14 billion dollars. 离谱的是，美国举办大选花的钱几乎等于其他国家总和。In Britain's 2019 general election, political spending was 24 times less than in the 2020 U.S. election. 两大阵营烧钱拼宣传，预算几乎无上限。不论钞票能不能化为选票，恐怕都已经模糊选战焦点。三立新闻卢润宏报道。